What's up guys, it's Brooke and Chelsea and Rhaegar and we're back at you with another video. All right, so this video is a little different. Chelsea and I don't really watch the VMAs. We're not much of a VMAs watcher. We've watched it in the past. We watched the, we've been to the MTV Movie Awards actually. We're not a huge VMAs. We're just older than this generation and we don't get a lot of the music. We don't know a lot of the music. That's just all there is to Yeah, it. that's just straight up what it is. I hardly know any musicians these days and artists and I just don't know. It's just a bunch of names that we don't quite know. Yeah. But one name I do know is Logic's name. And yeah. we did hear after the VMAs that Logic gave this really powerful speech about mental health. And as you know, that's something Chelsea and I are both passionate about. You know, for those who don't know, my wife Chelsea suffers from bipolar, PTSD, and anxiety. Um, so mental illness is something obviously she's passionate about and through her and being connected and loving her i'm now passionate about it we've done videos on mental illness in the past and you know i just think it's something that people need to talk about more and it is a conversation that people are afraid to have because unfortunately i think a lot of people don't know much about it and when you go into a situation where you're pretty much ignorant it's easier to ignore it than to uncover something that you're ignorant about and because you're afraid of how dark it can actually be so like i said logic gave a speech about how important mental health is i just wanted to read little experts from his speech that we thought were interesting. I just wanna take a moment to thank you for giving me a platform to talk about something that mainstream media doesn't want to talk about. Mental health, anxiety, suicide, depression, and so much more that I talk about on this album, he began. From racism, discrimination, sexism, domestic violence, sexual assault, and so much more, I don't give a damn if you're black, white, or any color in between. I don't care if you're Christian or Muslim or gay or straight. I'm here to fight for equality because I believe that we were all born equal, but we are not treated equally, and that is why we must fight. We must fight for the equality of every man, woman, and child, regardless of race, religion, color, creed, and sexual orientation. So I say here and now, if you believe in this message of peace, love, and prosperity, and equality for all, then I demand that you rise to your feet and applaud not only for yourselves but the foundation we are laying for our children um i thought that was really powerful i really appreciate that logic spoke up about this especially at such a large um event you know so many people were watching the vmas a lot of young people are watching the vmas who don't quite know what's going on if they are experiencing you know signs of mental illness and so I think that was just really great of him to be able to open that up and so people can think about it and then these conversations can happen along with like, you know, all of the other celebrities and, you know, big influencers who speak up about it. It really helps like end this stigma that this is something that's like supposed to be kept on the hush hush and something that makes you weaker. I, you know, like Demi Lovato, you know, she's been very open about her bipolar disorder and her struggles with depression. You know, I know Angelina Jolie has come out you know talking about her struggles with anxiety and self-harm Kristen Bell she's come out um, about her troubles with clinical depression and it's just like you know all of these examples of big people who are willing to come out and talk about it that's what's really paving the way for us today to be able to talk about this freely and to be able to talk about this with no judgment and to make us feel like we don't have to hide what's going on with us like you know someone who suffers from like a physical disease they're not gonna you know be hidden away and told not to talk about it. It should be the same thing with mental illness. Um, we shouldn't have to not talk about it because that's just making everything so much worse. Having a mental illness and being stuck in your own head, that's not, you know, very healthy. That's not gonna help you in any way. Yeah, and like you said something earlier actually that really caught my attention, which was like, it's good that Logic said it on a highly watched show like the VMAs where a lot of young people watch and young people who maybe not, don't know how to identify these strange things that they're feeling. We need to start the conversation because like Chelsea said, like, I don't wanna speak for the whole world, but I feel like it's a common misconception that this is something that's developed later in life and yes it is but it all stems from what happens in your childhood and in the thoughts and what goes on can happen as early as possible like there are seven year olds out there who suffer from depression but they don't know it's depression and without the proper knowledge to equip yourself how can you get better so it's like talking about these things is not create it's not it's not victimizing them it's letting them know that this is a thing so that they then know how to adjust their life accordingly and like you know with all of these you know celebrities and influencers i've met mentioned you know as you can tell they're all very creative and a lot of creative people and a lot of artists out there they suffer from mental illness um, probably mostly depression because that's where you a lot of your motivation can stem from when you're depressed you know 
you feel all of these things or you feel a lack of anything and that gives you that gives you something to use if you're you know a singer or a musician you can talk about that pain that could help bring you out of it you know being able to talk about that and express yourself in an artistic way and like painters that's where they can get a lot of their influences for their artwork you know they want to express that pain as openly as possible and you know that's something that's beautiful and it can turn out to be you know a masterpiece and that's because it's so relatable sorry not to sidetrack but like you're you're very creative. Chelsea works in the financial district full time, but like, let me tell you, the girl's so creative to to the point where I think it's something she's discovering for the first time really in her life. Like I would say the past two, three years between starting this channel and drawing, coloring, whatever the things that we've started, photography even, like just the things we've dabbled into, she's taken a liking to it and damn it, she's good. She's good at writing, she's good at painting and you can feel the pain on the paper. Like when I'm, when I'm looking at a piece of art or when I'm reading a passage that she wrote, like I, like Chelsea said, I can empathize with it even if I don't, directly relate to it because I haven't gone through what she's gone through. I can empathize, I can feel what she must be feeling. And that's powerful. And that's other ways that you are able to move people. Logic is a musician. He's moving people through his through his music. Of course he should be talking about mental illness on his album. Like, you know, and that and I think that goes back to like the VMAs, social influencers, celebrity in general, artists, whatever. If they're if if you can touch one or two people just speaking about it, just acknowledging it, I think all of what we're saying goes back to the basic idea of acknowledgement. Acknowledging that there are that there are chemical imbalances in the world and that you are you you're not crazy, you're not a terrible, you're not a bad person for being programmed differently. You couldn't help the way you're programmed. Us as society, we need to use the platforms and the outlets that we've been blessed with to do good and to inspire conversation. And I feel like no matter how many followers you have on Instagram, no matter how good you think you are at art or not good, whether you do music, whatever, no matter how big or small you are, whether one people listen to you or 10 million people listen to you, just starting the conversation, you can change a single life. And it couldn't come out at a better time because it's a National Suicide Awareness and Prevention Month. So, um, it's an important month and I encourage all of you to speak about it. Yeah, we just wanted to give our thoughts on his speech and just it's almost in general and especially in pop culture and yeah thanks so much guys for listening to our thoughts please be sure to connect with us offline i am omg brookberry i am omg chelsea berry and we'll see you guys next week bye bye